Well, hello and uh, welcome back to uh, AppliCAD uh, Roof Wizard uh, video clip. This uh, particular video, I wish to explore the issues associated with using aerial images captured from drones. Um, this was a job sent to us from a friend of ours in the Caribbean and uh, highlights very, very well uh, some of the issues associated with that. So um, that's uh, the, the job with the roof on it. So I'm going to start from scratch and show you how we got there. Uh, go to construct roof, enable underlay, so uh, I can open the image file, I've saved that to disk already, uh, let's find it by date, whoops it already was there, that one, there it is. So there's our image and it's come in at uh, <coughs> an, un um, uh, an undetermined scale, we really don't know what size the image is, but we do know that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine panels across that edge of the roof and that edge of the roof is almost directly below the drone and that is um, the the most accurate uh, length in the job. None of the others, they're all skewed as you can see because of the position of the camera and the angle of the camera as it was aiming at this. It wasn't immediately overhead, you can see, I can see this wall a little bit here, you can see these parapets very clearly. So uh, it does indicate that that's probably the most precise. So um, the uh, their standard corrugated roof sheets, uh, 762, so um, that means that uh, the, the width of, the, of that line there is about 7.7.2 so we'll put that in it's actually 7230 and I'm going to measure it and zoom in there and measure you can see the quality of the image is quite great but the um, it's just that it's skewed to bilio so we'll use that one and uh, we hit OK on here and the job is automatically scaled you're familiar with this process because we did it once already in another video so the job is now scaled and now I can start digitizing and uh, click digitize what resolution do we have in the image the resolution of the image is great only problem is it's not square so I would still say plus or minus 50 mil is about as accurate as you can be I'm going to lock to uh, multiples of 45 and uh, so I've got nice orthogonal or square lines and uh, we hit OK and I'm going to start right on that corner there and across to here you can see it's quite accurate it's just that the job's as shonky as anything because of the parallax error so um, somewhere about here it's I'm vertical there but not vertical there so I'm going to average that out to halfway between the two somewhere about there across to here and down to about somewhere about that edge see how far out that is you will see that when we um, rebuild this that actually that will be accounted for shortly uh, so uh, close square there and uh, uh, while we're here we can just count those panels one two th three four five six seven eight nine so it's about the same width as that and uh, it works out okay so uh, I've been told uh, by our, our mate in uh, the Caribbean that the pitch is 12 degrees um, I'm not going to worry about where the wall is the overhang uh, will be zero and we hit OK and then the software wants to know where the pitching line is uh, pitching line will be down the bottom and we hit OK and the roof is installed um, now we wish to uh, insert a porch so we simply come over here and we want the porch hanging off that line and that line um, and hanging out that side so we want uh, a straight veranda with fascia and gutter the depth of it let's measure it it'll be from uh, there to there and the height of the wall is about right we want a uh, butts wall at each end and the, the slope of this roof uh, is uh, 8 degrees already so that's good we preview that that looks about right and we hit OK and uh, the veranda goes in so there's um, there's our model of this roof it's as accurate as we can get it really um, the 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 process that we've just used highlights the, the, the problems with not taking sufficient care with your um, with your uh, photographs from your drone uh, give 
considerable thought to that place the drone immediately overhead and as high as you can go without losing sight of your drone and you will improve the accuracy of the takeoff enormously so um, this is the sort of problem you get and uh, and it's something that you'll have to work with now we did figure out that that was um, nine panels across there and that was also nine panels so if that's nine panels um, nine panels is about seven meters if I check the measurements of that uh, check the length of that line so yes that's uh, 5.7 it needs to be so if it's 5.7 and it needs to be 7.2 so I'm going to need to add about one and a half meters to that so it's a simple matter of, of, um, of adding modify roof extend barge uh, we'll say this away there and uh, we're going to extend that barge line by uh, whoops 1500 and and now we've we've got nine panels across there and uh, we're good to go so that's about it um, it's uh, it's a fairly straightforward process if we generate our panels now we'll use 762 cori and um, and okay and there we have it and there's our cut list and man we're all set to go and uh one two three four five six seven eight nine beautiful love your work ray thank you so much for taking the time to check us out don't forget to look at all the other youtube videos and if you have any questions at any time just fire an email off to uh, support at applicad.com thanks and have a great day bye for now